So today is actually the day we commemorate the confession of Peter of the true identity of Jesus. And it's the epiphany season, so you can understand how that kind of fits in with the whole epiphany theme, the revelation of the glory of Jesus. So from Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 through 19, Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And so there's Peter's confession. Now, uh, let's let's pull in a little bit of man-made philosophy to help us get to the point here. Uh, By no means am I saying that using man-made philosophical categories is is a way to interpret the Bible, but sometimes they can be helpful in helping us identify something. Within philosophy, there are basically four causes. The one that concerns us today is what's referred to as the primary efficient cause and sometimes the efficient cause. Uh, That is really the cause that causes everything else to happen. For instance, let's take this for example. Uh, When we flick on the light switch, there are lots of causes, but the primary efficient cause is God. Without God, none of the other causes could take place. Uh, so, same way when we turn on the uh, tap to get water, God is the efficient cause because apart from God, there would be no other causes involved. And so, the primary efficient cause, philosophically explained for Peter's confession, has no other origin. Than God the Father. I hope I didn't confuse you. I don't think I did. Uh, but but the the efficient cause, the primary cause of Peter's confession is none other than God the Father. There is nothing else that can be attributed to Peter's faith. So Peter confesses the one true faith, and Jesus says, "Yes, Peter, uh, Petros, right upon this." Petra, stone, I will build my church upon this confession. So our confession of faith comes ultimately from God the Father. Our faith, the origin of our faith, is from God the Father. And that's what makes it like Peter's faith. That's what makes Peter's confession our confession. The confession that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, is not something that we conclude. It's not something we come up with. It's something that's given to us as a gift from God. And that gift from God is what causes us to be able to rely on God through Jesus Christ and the mediation of Jesus Christ alone. We don't depend upon ourselves. We depend solely and only upon Jesus, the Christ, the Son of the living God. We thank God for giving Peter the faith that he confessed and that in reading his confession, God gives us our faith. God bless you. God keep you on this day in which we commemorate the epiphany of the confession of Peter's faith. Amen.